Hey guys, this is Brent with Bellman Woodworking Designs, and I want to show you another product I recently completed. Uh, this is a tie box or maybe a chest for the size it is. It's about 12 inches long. Or I'm sorry, 18 inches long, about 12 inches wide, and about nine inches tall. I made this uh, for a brother-in-law, and he wanted something to be able to put ties in the top uh, where he could see them, and also maybe have a drawer on the bottom. So this is what uh, I came up with. So um, it's built out of pine and it is stained. Um, so I uh, get a little rotation here. So you can kind of see uh, around on it. Uh, it's got hinges for the lid on the back there. And uh, on this side, I put a, uh, this is a box. Um, golly, not a, it's a su trunk support. There we go, that's the word I wanted, trunk support. Um, and these are really supposed to be mounted on the outside, but um, I learned a lesson on this project, which is to uh, design your projects around your hardware. So next time I'll be trying to buy hardware first and design products from that, but it kind of looks neat being on the outside. So that's uh, kind of a unique feature about the box that maybe uh, someone else wouldn't have. So uh, just to give you some ideas on what I did as far as the building on it. Uh, so the inside here, um, all the uh, little <coughs> sections here, the little walls. Uh, this was quarter inch poplar that I bought at my local home improvement store. Um, although now I've really, I found a cheap way to get quarter inch wood instead of going and buying someone else's quarter inch wood is go buy two by fours. Um, and as long as you know the height works for you for a product like this, a two by four is great for it. You can, uh, if your saw is able to do it, you can use a two by four and mill out lots of quarter inch wood um, for a product like this, but um, anyhow, uh, for this, if you've done anything with uh, compartments kind of like this, um, so down the inside, this is cut halfway through on the bottom and on the cross piece halfway through on top, and then uh, those two pieces are able to notch together, and it's that way all the way across. So there's a notch, um, or I guess cut out of the bottom on the cross piece here, and then on these pieces running perpendicular. Uh, the notch is cut on the bottom, and so that's how you get the look of one piece running across the top and the other on the bottom. Uh, that created the dividers, and then I also set this into the wood. You tell on the back, um, I used a quarter inch uh, router bit. I could have done a dado, but I mean, it is a dado, but I use a router for these. And I um, actually set the boards up uh, this board parallel with this board back to back, and that's how I cut. I used a router, I set a straight edge, and cut the router straight across from one board uh, to the other to get on my. Uh, Dados to line up there, and I did the opposite on this side. I put these board, this board, and this board back to back, and I was able to run a straight edge against it and run the router with the quarter inch bit through there. Um, you can see that's in about a little more than an eighth of an inch, probably right there. Um, but anyhow, so that's what I did all the way around and got all those dados cut there. I um, did for these hinges, there's uh, two hinges here. I use stop hinges which were still not strong enough once I have the glass. That glass adds a lot of weight. Um, and I was told it would, it added more than I thought. When you're just holding the pane of glass in your hand, it doesn't seem very heavy, but once you add it in there to the uh, actual product, it does. So um, again, here is this um, <clears throat> hinge here on the uh, lid support there. Um, again, it doesn't quite lock into place like it's supposed to, but it works well to keep the box open and keep it from slamming shut. Um, so there's glass on the top, of course, and while we're here, um, so I did the lid, um, I did a uh, finger joint to it. Um, you can see here, which is kind of a nice uh, look, just kind of gives it something else unique that maybe um, another box might not have. But then I also did um, uh, dowel rods down through here. So while this is glued together, it's literally held together, um, you know, I guess in two places. So you've got the uh, joint here holding it together. The dowel also does go all the way through and holds those together. So even if they weren't glued, the friction of the wood would just hold everything together. But um, it is glued in place there. Um, so it's like that on all uh, four corners. So again, that's just kind of a neat touch I've seen done. And so I decided to utilize it here and I think it looks great. Uh, as far as the wood going, or the uh, glass, so you can tell there's a little ridge of wood here um, that's on the top here in the glass and it's also the same on the bottom and is what I use to hold the glass in place. Um, so there's a piece of wood on each side. I was actually advised and might be a better idea but I wanted a more permanent solution. Then instead of doing wood on the top, do silicone but I went with 
wood on the top. I just thought it looked better and didn't want to have a big bead of silicone going around. But I was advised to do silicone and make this glass for a break so you could peel the silicone off and lay a new piece of glass. And well, the person I'm giving this to, I think, is responsible enough and hopefully nothing will happen to it. So, um, and it, this is three thirty seconds thick glass. So that's what's in there. Um, and the joints here are just kind of a basic uh, it's joint, I don't know what you call that joint, but that's what I used on all the corners here. Um, and down here on the bottom, um, I went to Rockler to get these uh, brass knobs that are on here. Um, they were $8.99 a piece, but they turned out pretty nice. Um, you have a drawer that comes out on the inside. Here's the drawer here. Um, and again, I just use quarter inch wood. Um, but try to do the drawer the right way. So. Um, again, used uh, in this case, I actually used the blade on my saw to cut the dados here, um, here, and then I did the same on the drawer face. Um, in this case, for the drawer face, uh, all I did for this was I took the wood, uh, the front, before I ever glued anything together, I had the box kind of all laid out, and then just ran the front here across the saw to cut the face out, and um, then from that, you the face, and then again, just cut dados in here, and I um, got it put together and was able to, uh, I did some uh, quarter inch plywood on the bottom. But again, it is laying there's a dado cut all the way, all the way around here that lets the plywood fit into place. Um, so you can tell it's notched in there. So it made it nice, uh, nice and snug when it fits in there. And again, this is all just stained. Um, but did a quarter inch wood for the compartments. Uh, here you can tell, so these were kind of meant to be for cuff links tie clips, things like that. This might be watches, stuff like that. Um, here you could do like, you know, wallets or sunglasses. But I just kind of wanted to have some different uh, size sections for whatever uh, my brother-in-law might want to put in there. So um, this drawer does slide um, uh, nice and neat back in there. So um, fits nice and square. And I've got about a quarter or an eighth of an inch gap on the top and the bottom uh, for that. So uh, it's something that if you do stuff with drawers here. Uh, make sure you add your supports on the bottom. Add extra support to keep it level and actually on the top too to keep the drawer from being able to rock up and down so it stays in there uh, fairly level until you pull it all the way out of course but you're able to pull the drawer out like it's not falling down because it's got a top support there too. Um, so anyhow uh, this is it. So a tie box or tie chest um, with an open and closing lid here. If you're looking for another project something like that. Um, again it's about uh, 18 inches long, about 9 inches tall, and then this side's about uh, 12 inches across. So if you're looking for a cool project, this might be a good one for you. And I'll try to post uh, some pictures in later, but at least want to give you an idea of what it looks like. So uh, post any comments or questions below. And uh, if you have any questions, and I will try to help you out as best I can. But great project, something you might want to try to build. Thanks a lot.